Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to focus on actually creating a sourcing strategy because over the last couple months or even just weeks or more, uh, more recently, I've been focusing on what sort of items to pick up. And now that we've got that under control, I think it's time to go ahead and focus on how often to pick up items, how much to spend, all that sort of good stuff. And on top of that, what sort of deals work best? We go for smaller deals in large quantities or bigger deals in smaller quantities, I guess. So in today's video, I'm gonna try pick up a whole bunch of everything and then see uh, which lots move faster, which ones make us more money, all that sort of fun stuff. So with that said, I have a couple pickups ready for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the camera to tomorrow. All right, guys, it is Friday and we are starting off today's video with a couple pickups, which is going to be super, super awesome. We're looking to spend about seven to $800. So we're gonna be picking up some really good stuff. So with that said, we have to go ahead, head over to the bank, pull some cash, and then we have quite a bit of driving to do because I completely messed up my scheduling and the route I was supposed to take. Um, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and go over to our first pickup. All right, guys, just picked up the Nintendo 2DS as my keys just fell. Uh, there it is in really good condition. And now we're off to our next pickup, which is about a 30, 40 minute drive north. All right, next up, we picked up this Nintendo Switch in box as well as a copy of Pokemon Sword. And now we're off to our next location. After about a 40 minute drive, we ended up getting a whole bunch of PlayStation 4 games as well as a PlayStation 4 Pro console. All right, we are back in the studio. We have uh, the PS4 pickup. As you guys can see, there is a whole bunch of games, but forget about the games. We got a PlayStation 4 Pro with two controllers, as well as all of the cables uh, needed. PlayStation 4 seems to be in really good condition. Uh, it's got a couple marks and scratches, but otherwise, no concerns. Everything does work for it, at least I've been told. So obviously, we'll go ahead and test it. Uh, and I think my plan is to actually go ahead and sell it with just with the white controller and then sell this controller separately. Uh, that way, we can make a little bit more money on this bundle. Normally, I would bundle all the controllers, but I want to try something different this time uh, and possibly uh make a whole video out of just controllers in the future but we'll see uh moving on to the games though because we have some really really cool ones here uh ones that i think are going to sell pretty pretty fast uh so with that said let's go ahead and start off with this pile turn it the right way around starting things off with a copy of call of duty world war ii which was not a very good call of duty uh we have dying light we have far cry 4 we have a copy of assassin's creed origins we have a copy of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. We have a copy of NHL 19. We have a copy of Madden NFL 25, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Skylanders Swap Force for the PlayStation 4 is like an $80 game, which was definitely out of the blue. Uh, we have a copy of Need for Speed. We have Killzone Shadowfall. We have Batman. We have Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, which is like a $40, $50 game. So watch out for this one as well. We have a copy of overwatch we have call of duty advanced warfare we have call of duty black ops 4 we have destiny which is like five bucks we have assassin's creed unity we have destiny 2 we have a copy of fifa 14 we have need for speed rivals we have a copy of assassin's creed odyssey and then we last but not least for this pile we have a copy of fallout 4 moving on to our next pile we have a loose copy of call of duty ghosts we have a copy of black ops 3 we have a copy of Watch Dogs. we have a copy of drive club we have not one but two copies of call of duty modern warfare which is one of my favorite call of duties we got a copy of call of duty vanguard which um brings back some uh, some not so fun times <laughs> this was not a this was not a very good call of duty uh very fast paced but Holy moly, did it have its problems. We have a copy of NHL 20, which I actually own for the Xbox One. We have a copy of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which was probably one of my least favorite Call of Duties that I've played recently. We have a copy of NHL 15. We have a copy of South Park. We have a copy of USC 3. We have a copy of, what is this? Uh, Nio 2, hopefully that's that's how you say that. Uh, we have a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We have a copy of Far Cry 3. We have a copy of Until Dawn, Batman Return to Arkham. We have Wolfenstein 2. And then last but not least, we have a copy of Days Gone. And that is everything for the PlayStation 4 stuff. Actually, sorry, as it turns out, I am wrong. We have a copy of Spider-Man as well as GTA 5. But I'm actually going to go ahead and keep these copies. Now, normally, you guys might be wondering, why on earth am I keeping PlayStation 4 games when I have an Xbox? Well, I have a little bit of surprise. And well, let's just say I also picked up a PlayStation 5 disc version. Uh, I've been wanting to get 
a PlayStation 5 for so long, and probably the last two years, uh, I've been wanting to get one. And well, I it never really pulled the trigger because my PC was doing a really good job until recently. So it's starting to struggle with some of these new titles. And well, I picked up this console for $580. Now retail, these are maybe about, uh, I don't know, close to the six to $700 range with tax included. You're looking at seven to $800. And this is the disc version, which means that we can go ahead and test PS4 games. So I am super, super excited about that. Uh, the person said these are like three times, uh, which seems to be the case because it, it has a lot of dust on it. Uh, <laughs> and it seems to be in really good condition. So I went ahead and picked it up for 580. This is not for sale. This is uh, strictly to keep. This is going to be a part of my personal collection of consoles, um, just like how we have the Xbox One, which I'm also not gonna sell. Uh, but yeah, I'm super, super happy that I was finally able to pick up a PS5. This will now be my primary console console for playing games and the best part is that once again it is a disc version so now we can also use it to test ps4 games without having a ps4 in the studio because we rarely ever keep them for more than a week <laughs> and now we have uh, a more permanent solution to that issue and on top of that uh the disc version actually seems to be a, a lot more convenient than i thought because uh, as it turns out, we get a lot of PlayStation 4 games in, uh, and recently at least that's been the case. So now I can go ahead and I have to spend as much money on games for my primary console. Uh, obviously, these games, I will go ahead and sell them after I finish playing them. Uh, but with that said, that's going to take a while because neither one of these games are, are uh, short games. So with that said, a little bit of a surprise, but let's go ahead and check out some of the other pickups, which are actually going to make us some money. All right, our next pickup was this Nintendo Switch, which... Uh, is complete in box it's got the, the joy cons docking station everything it even has the original packaging so uh, this is also the v2 nintendo switch so we should be able to get about uh maybe 280 to i believe maybe 300 dollars i'm gonna try get 300 dollars um because we paid maybe about 250 for this whole bundle something like that uh and then we also got a copy of pokemon sword in that bundle so this game is worth about 40 bucks uh this is more of a quick flip sort of thing not really uh, a, a flip to make us a whole lot of money, but I was in the area, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up anyways, because I was already there for another reason. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead, move on to our next pickup. Next up, we have a Nintendo 2DS, which we've actually never had uh, in the store before. We've never actually picked up a Nintendo 2DS. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, this one was maybe about 10 minutes away from the studio, which is uh, pretty rare to find games in my area, uh, or even consoles for that sake. Uh, we also got a copy of Pokemon Ultra Moon, and we were supposed to get a copy of Pokemon White version 2, but this game doesn't work. Um, and I, I wonder why. I wonder why it doesn't work. Uh, so with that said, um, actually, sorry, the game does work. It, it can be read, but you can't access any of the save data. So maybe that's a software issue. We'll have to find out and see if we can play around with it. All right, so as it turns out, that copy of Pokemon White version 2 is actually worth about 40 bucks as non-working. So that's exactly what I did. I listed it as a not working copy and well, it sold within five minutes for 40 bucks. So make sure you guys are looking out for those non-working games as well. I was gonna pay 215 for everything because this game here alone is worth 200 bucks. Uh, so I ended up paying $100 for everything here. So we'll make um, a, a good amount of money. I think we can get about $100 for the console and then whatever this game is worth as you guys saw um, on the screen there. Uh, and also comes with the chargers. So risk case scenario, we're gonna do a little bit of product testing with this pickup. Uh, once again, not really much to risk because it was close to the studio and handhelds sell really fast. So with that said, on to the next pickup. And last but not least, we picked up a Nintendo 3DS uh, in pretty good condition. Doesn't need a little bit of a clean, uh, but that's no that's no problem. Uh, these guys go for $150 all day every day with the charger. We have a copy of Lego Jurassic World. We got a copy of Crash City Mayhem, which is worth quite a bit of money. We got a copy of Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins. We have a copy of Fast and Furious. We have a copy of Mario Kart 7, which you can never go wrong with. We have a copy of New Super Mario Bros. 2. We have a copy of Plants vs. Zombies. Scribble Knots Unlimited, and then last but not least, a copy of Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. So overall, some good games, as well as a, uh, a very good console. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this whole bundle, but um, I'm sure I told you guys when I picked it up. So with that said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start listing everything over the next couple of days here. Uh, it is currently Friday, and with that said, I'll see you guys all on Monday when hopefully some of this stuff has sold. All right, it is Monday, and I just pulled all of the orders from the weekend, so let's go ahead and quickly go through everything. We sold a copy of Monster House. We sold a copy of Final Fantasy VII. We sold a copy of Marvel Spider-Man, which is one of my personal favorite games. Uh, we sold a copy of Dragon Ball Z. We sold Watch Dogs. We sold 
Grand Theft Auto 4 and episodes from Liberty City. We sold Army of Two. We sold Dying Light the following. We sold a copy of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We sold a Octonauts Ultimate Collection DVD. We sold a copy of Jonas. We sold a PS4 game from, I think believe one of the ones we picked up, uh, Watch Dogs. We sold a copy of Call of Duty Vanguard, which was one of the ones we picked up in this video. We sold a personal favorite as well, GTA Vice City. Grew up playing this game a lot. Uh, beat it many, many times. Glad it sold because it's a really good game. Uh, we sold a copy of Call of Duty World at War. We sold a copy of Black. We sold a copy of Call of Duty World War II, which we picked up in this video. We sold a copy of NBA 2K12. We sold a whole bunch of games that we picked up in this video as well. One of them being Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Need for Speed. We sold Need for Speed Rivals. We sold Assassin's Creed Unity. We sold Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We sold Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We sold Assassin's Creed Origins. And all these games are going to one buyer, which is great. And all of these games are from the bundle that we did pick up in this video. And we also sold a copy of NHL 2K7. We did sell the Nintendo Switch for 285, which is not that great to be honest because i sent an offer of 285 not realizing that this console needs to sell for 300 so that's a little bit of a mistake on my end but either way it sold we'll still make some good money on that lot just not as much as i really wanted to make uh we did also sell a nintendo 3ds uh for 150 bucks that is not the one we picked up in today's video that is one that we picked up in i believe two videos ago so i believe about a week ago and then this uh this console here the nintendo ds Lite, this sold um this weekend <laughs> obviously but we picked this up a while ago i believe maybe about a month or two ago uh as a part of a whole collection i didn't really make a video on that uh but yeah it sold so glad we were able to get that out of the studio make up some more space on our uh, shelves because they are getting a little full but everything is moving which is what we want to see so with that said i have a fun task right now of packing all this up and then sending it to the post office because it is getting late and post office closes soon and just as i was about to uh start packing we actually sold a copy of skylander swap force for the playstation 4 for 85 dollars wow that sold very quickly uh and for a lot of money so make sure you guys watch out for these guys because they're worth quite a bit with that said let's go ahead and actually start packing some orders and that will be it for today's video. I'm keeping things on the shorter end because, well, let's just say I already have another two videos that will be kind of a follow-up to this one um, of trying to create a better and more consistent sourcing strategy. Uh, and, well, the whole video is actually done, but it's about an hour long, and I don't want to post a whole movie on YouTube. So I'm going to split it up into three parts. This is part one. Uh, and I think overall, from this first part of the video, uh, I think we, we have a good basis. I think it's important to be mixing in quick flips, stuff that's going to sell within a week, as well as do some of those bigger pickups, lots with a lot more items. And then that way we're able to have our listing goal uh, met consistently with brand new items. Uh, and obviously we want to be able to do that without having to go back to our old strategy, which was essentially picking up high volume, low profit. Now we want to try to do high volume, high profit or high volume or more like medium volume medium profit i think that's more of a better way of saying it because those ps4 games are worth anywhere from you know like 10 to 15 dollars even 20 sometimes and essentially from time to time we end up getting a couple really big ticket items like that skylanders game from earlier in this video so overall i think we made some good progress i'm super excited for you guys to see the other two episodes they should hopefully be dropping soon because they're already ready and i have a couple other big videos in the works so that'll be it for today thank you all so much for watching you should go ahead hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any other uploads as always if you have any sort of questions comments drop them down below and i'll try my best to answer them as soon as i can and with that said thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace